Welcome back to Wood Acres. Today we're going to be doing some work down here at the pond. Hop up. We're having another warm blue sky day that they were calling for rain and rain did not come. We haven't had rain here in about a month and it's really becoming a problem. I did add water to the pond so we're still sitting pretty full in here. I went in and cleaned out some stuff with my new pond net today. We have Goldie Hawn, Dorothy, and the orange koi. This orange koi doesn't have a name. And if you're new here to the channel, I did dig out this pond from scratch. This is its third year that it's been holding water. And I don't have a lot of pond plants in here but it is actually doing pretty well. I have some aerators going in here because we do have some fish in here. I also have some pond jets for circulation and you can see Goldie Hawn down there with her koi friends. I don't have a name for the orange one but the white one is Dorothy. Oh the geyser. Underneath the entire pond here is a French drain that pulls all the water that leaks out of the pond or comes in from the ground and it sends it into a sump pit right there behind the intake bay. It also collects all the rainwater from this side of the house and puts it into that sump pit and whenever that sump pit gets full it pumps it all back into the pond here whenever the geyser comes on. So that geyser is what I call a functional feature. It's actually keeping the pond full, but it's also fun to look at. But actually now that the pond is full, we had a bluegill that was stuck in the wetland bog filter and you can see the water level is now over the log. It's just barely rippling over that log right now. And whenever the pond gets low, it actually separates the bog filter from the main basin of the pond. So last time the pond was full, we swam upstream and got stuck in the wetland bog filter whenever the water went back down. But whenever the water filled back up, he swam back into the main basin of the pond. So now we have two bluegill in here, but we also have a largemouth bass. Oh, there he is. Just floating right there off the rock. And what's interesting, if I can find those bluegill, I'll show you, but one's actually bigger than the other now. The one that got stuck in the wetland bog filter didn't have the same eating habits that the one out here in the big pond had. And the minnows had some babies swimming around in the beach. And that's one thing I would like to do. I had Dabbles and his ducks down here playing in the beach in the pond for a while while they were getting bigger. I've now moved them up to the barn so they can start getting acquainted with Mumbles and her ducks. But if you look underwater here in the beach, you can actually see the landscape fabric I have covering up my rubber liner. And that's because Dabbles was dabbling here in the sand and all the sand gets lifted up into the water column and then it all floated down into the corner here of the deep end. I don't know how well it's gonna pick up on camera, but there's a big pile of sand here in the corner. Oh, and there's a bluegill. That one's definitely the small one. But I would like to try and scoop up as much of that sand as I can and get it back up here into the beach now that the ducks aren't playing in it. And I also have a leak in a pipe I wanna fix. Oh, the geyser. But over here on the far side of the pond is where all the water flows. I have two pumps sitting down here in the intake bay. They're buried under stone inside barrels. I have one variable speed pump between 5,000 and 8,000 gallons that pumps up to the top of the waterfall. And then I have another one in here pumping 5,000 gallons an hour steady through the jets and into the top of the stream where I have the wetland bog filter. But if we take a look in here, we can see an exposed pipe right here and it actually is pumping a little current there into the willow. And now that the water's above that pipe, it's harder to tell that it has a hole in it, but it is there. There. whenever the water goes back down it actually sprays water straight out of the pond into the beach so it's actually had this hole in it since winter i just haven't made it a priority yet to fix but today is going to be that day i'm pop so to fix this i'm going to need to cut the broken section of pipe out and to make the pipe longer so it can still reach the pump i'm going to need to add a coupler and fortunately over here i've been saving a section of pipe just for this occasion this pipe should be just long enough for what I need. I was actually gonna use this section of pipe as a directional flow for the wetland bog filter here. You can see the lid of a barrel here and this is where all the water gets pumped into. And to make this more efficient, I need to get a lid that'll seal that barrel off so all the water getting pumped into the barrel has to filter up through the rocks. That's what's supposed to be happening. But since the lid doesn't fit snugly and it has holes in it, the water just takes the path of least resistance and comes right up through. So to fix that, I was gonna put this pipe on the 90 that's coming into the barrel so I could get the water to actually enter the bottom first but I'm still gonna need a lid that seals. But I need to fix the waterfall pipe, so this one's getting used now. And we have some zinnias blooming, huh, Pop? Before we get started today, we have one package here to open. Is it safe? Is it safe, puppy? Stop. 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 Good boy. <laughs> you can't have that. That's mine, puppy. Thank you, Sharon, for sending in this aquarium heater. I just had one go out and I really needed one to replace it. Oh, the geyser. Come on, come on. 
So I'm gonna need to shut the waterfall off, pull the pump out, disconnect everything, cut the bad pipe off, put the new pipe on, and then reconnect everything so I can put it back into the barrel and then turn the pump back on. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, I got the hose spliced. It should be fixed now. I'm gonna plug the pump back in for the waterfall and see if we have any bubbles. Three, two, one. No bubbles. So without any holes in the pipe, all the bubbles should be going up to the waterfall.
Oh, the geyser. All right, now the waterfall is back on and we're actually getting a more efficient flow now that we don't have any pressure loss from the leak. At the top of the stream here, the wetland bog filter is a separate pump, so that stayed on for the fish, so they had current the whole time. I've been really enjoying the pond out here, but I still have a lot of ideas to add to it. But I'm still enjoying the waterfalls as they are right now. Shutting the waterfalls off and turning them back on flushes a lot of the dirt out of the basin, so all that has to go into the intake bay and get filtered out now. And we have some plantings around the pond, but I really want to get some plantings in the pond. But there's a lot of things going on here right now at Whitacre, so I'm spread pretty thin. What are you doing, Dabbles? I hear ya. Mumbles! Hey, girl! And it does add a lot of hassle whenever we don't get enough rain to keep up with the animal's water needs, let alone all the garden needs. But it really does feel good to get one thing done, fixing the leak on the waterfall pipe. Just trying to get things done piece by piece. It's a process. We haven't even got that big branch out of the tree yet. Oh, puppy. Well, I'm not quite sure if that storm's gonna hit us tonight or not. And now we gotta get things cleaned up. So it's just a little project today, but it feels really good to get it done. That was all I could really get done after work and doing some editing. It's already dinner time, and then me and Echo have to go up and close out the barn. Up, up. But I figured I'd bring you along for the evening while I was working out here at the pond. If you want to keep following along with everything here at Wood Acres, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit that like button before you leave, and you can see me and Echo on the next one. Thanks for watching. Go. Go.